Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to come to you today for a video talking about products and tips and tricks that I use for when my skin is peeling. Now, there's a couple different kinds of peeling that people may encounter. We are coming into the cold months. Not everybody gets cold months in the winter, but I know we do and everybody north of us does as well. And a lot of times you can get just dry, flaky, peeling type skin from the weather in general, the um, very dry climate that you may live in. I do suffer from that a little bit in the winter, but most of my peeling comes from my retinol use. So I use the Truth Treatment System Retinol Gel, which I didn't bring it upstairs, so I'll pop a picture up here. If you have not heard me talk about this, this is the end all be all when it comes to retinol in my opinion. This is, I use the 5%, which is equivalent to, um, I think of the 0.5 Retin-A prescription. Maybe I said that completely wrong. I don't know, I'm sure somebody will correct me in the comments, but it's very effective, let me just say. Now, it's so effective that I do peel like a snake shedding its skin every time I use it. So it takes everybody a little bit of a different time to peel. Some people peel two days later, some people peel three days later, some people don't peel at all. I peel and it's typically about five days after I use it. So I still to this day, because people still ask, I still only use this retinol every 10 days just because I, I don't want to give up two days a week peeling. I mean, that's just the vain part of me, I guess. Um, I use the Colleen Rothschild retinol treatment in between. I don't know that that really does that much for me, but it just makes me feel like I'm keeping the retinol steps in throughout the week. So when I do hit my five day mark, I start peeling and I peel for two days. When that happens, I have learned over the past nine months that I've been using this retinol, things, and pro things to do and products to use to help diminish the peeling, okay? Because it doesn't always happen on a convenient day. It's very rare that I'm not doing something outside of the house. So, I mean, if I go to the grocery store, do I care if I'm peeling? No. If I have a job and I'm working on a client, do I care if I'm peeling? Yes. I just, I'm up in their face. We get real, I mean, half the time I'm basically sitting in the person's lap by the end of the session. So, I, it, we get pretty personal, my clients and myself. So, I like to look my best and I certainly don't want to have peeling skin. So I compiled a bag full of, this is like a free derm store bag I got with one of my orders, full of products that I use to help peeling. So we're gonna take this in steps and I'm gonna talk about what I do at night when I'm peeling and then I'm gonna talk about what I do in the morning when I'm peeling and then I'm gonna talk about what I do in makeup or with makeup when I'm peeling. So let's start at the night time. This is gonna have the most amount of products anyways because this is the time where I spend the bulk of my skincare treatment time. I don't have a ton of time in the morning to do skincare. I, that usually takes about five to seven minutes tops. At night, I like to kind of pamper myself per se, and especially when I'm peeling. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I will wash my face like normal and then I will go in with an exfoliator. Now, I don't particularly like to physically exfoliate my skin that much. It can be a little harsh, my skin is red anyways. I, it tends to make it a little bit more red and I always want to be careful not to uh, tear my skin, which a lot of the, um, you know, over-the-counter scrubs can have very thick pieces of nutshells in them and that will tear your skin. So I'm pretty picky when it comes to that and I try not to do it that often, but when I'm peeling, I do at least once uh, use a physical exfoliant. So these are the two that I rotate through the most. And the first is the Lancer The Method Polish. I've talked about this forever and quite honestly, this is the same exact product that I talked about forever ago. Uh, it may have even, I don't know, I don't think stuff like this really expires in 12 months. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm still using it. This is an extremely effective, extremely potent physical exfoliator. But the reason that I love this so much is the granules are so fine that when I splash my face or use a washcloth to get them off, all of them come off. And when I go in with serums or oils afterwards, I'm not worried about feeling the granules on my skin 
the rest of the night because there is no, that's like nails on a chalkboard to me. I can't handle it. I don't like it. And I never had that issue with this. So it's very potent. It helps get the peeling away, but it also rinses fully away. So I do love that. And the other one that I sometimes use is the Dermalogica Multivitamin Thermofoliant. So it's called Thermofoliant because it warms your skin as you are applying it. And it says to apply to damp skin and actually do circular motions for one to two minutes. I have never been able to get to the two minute mark. It's just a little too much for me. Um, and then rinse it off. Now it says a more intense result can be achieved by using directly on dry skin. I can't stand to use stuff like this directly on dry skin. It has to be damp skin. It may work better, but it works just fine on damp skin for me too. So that's another one that I like doing. And that is the first step in a nighttime routine for me when I'm peeling to help ensure the loosest part of the skin actually gets sloughed off. Now, before I would go into any kind of serums or oils or anything like that, I like to do a mask. I have a whole drawer of masks. I've thought about doing top five masks. Um, if you want to see that, I will. But on peeling days, I use certain kinds of masks. I'm not going to use my clay masks or my charcoal masks or my super tightening, you know, crackling, purifying masks because <laughs> I'm getting excited about this because it just, that defeats the purpose. That's not going to hydrate my skin. And I want something that's going to deeply hydrate, but also help exfoliate the dryness off. So actually I have two samples of masks that I've been loving so much. And then I also have a sheet mask I'm going to talk about that I don't have one right now, but I will pop a picture up. So the two um, samples, this is from Origins. It's called Clear Improvement Charcoal Honey Mask to Purify and Nourish. I know I just said I don't use charcoal masks when I'm peeling. This one is completely different. I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but it's almost like a gel consistency. It's definitely the only thing that leads to charcoal to me is the dark color. Um, it tightens up a little bit, but really and truly it's nourishing the honey in that really helps to nourish the skin. And I just feel like I get a little bit of extra hydration boost after I use this. So I've really been liking it and I'm trying to save this for my peeling nights. In addition to that, I love, and again, this is a honey because I think honey does wonders for the skin. It's the Pharmacy Honey Potion Renewing Antioxidant Hydration Mask. This is like the third deluxe sample that I have. Love this so much. And it is, um, again, like a gel consistency. This is actually a new one. I just finished up my last one that I was working on. But it's another one of those like thermo, thermo type of products where it really warms up your face while moisturizing as well. And again, I just feel like my skin feels so deeply moisturized after I use this. So I love that. And then the other one that I'll pop a picture of is the pharmacy sheet masks. They have a couple of different kinds. I think they have a hydrating and a brightening. Both of them are wonderful. They are fully saturated with the serum within the mask. I'm talking like I use, I pour out whatever's left in the little sac sachet or packet. What is wrong with me today? <laughs> and I use it on my neck and decollete because it's so intensely hydrating. I leave sheet masks on for way longer than they say. I'm typically, it's like 45 minutes that I leave them on, especially when they're as saturated as the pharmacy ones because they're not gonna dry up. So love, love, love those masks for when I'm peeling. Now, the thing that I will do after my serums is oils. I do this every single night, but I heighten the amount that I use on certain places where I'm peeling the worst on the nights that I'm peeling. So then the oils that I use at night the most are the Cora Organics Noni Face Oil. I'm almost like, I've only got that much left. Love this. The Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. Love this. And the Beauty Counter Number 3 Balancing and Lang Lang Facial Oil. Love all three of these. I don't have like a system to determine which one I'm going to use. I just rotate and use whichever one I think. Sometimes I use like this one for a week and then this one for two weeks and this one for a week, you know, or sometimes I just rotate days. But I always, like I said, I always use an oil, but when I have the peeling, typically it's the worst on my forehead, under eyes, and right here around my nose. So I will double up that. Sometimes I will mix the oils, really pat them in, let it dry down and sink in, and go in for a second round of oils before I apply a moisturizer. 
I cannot get enough of facial oils. It's one of my absolute favorite skincare products and it's a necessity for me when I'm peeling because it gets down to such deep layers of the skin and hydrates it, hydrates it from the inside out, I feel like, to where it really helps my peeling speed up, kind of the recovery speeds up a little bit more. Along with this next product, which is the only cream that I will use on nights that I'm peeling and it is the Truth Treatment Systems Omega-6 Healing Cream. So if you don't believe how much I love this stuff, I implore you to look at it. <laughs> I don't have that much left. This stuff is highly concentrated with some of the most hydrating ingredients ever. It's got a lot of vitamin C. It's got omega-6 fatty acid esters. It has essential oils. It has olivate esters. Something else I can't pronounce but anyways this is extremely extremely hydrating you need the smallest amount when I say a pea size I mean less than a pea size will will be enough for my face and my neck and half of my decollete it is so concentrated this jar has lasted me for nine months I would venture to say it would last me another month even though I hardly look like I have any left you just need the smallest amount it is so 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 good and it is a necessity for me on the nights that I'm peeling because it really locks everything else I've put on underneath in but those omega-6 something about that really helps heal the peeling all right so let's go into morning time skincare there's not quite as many steps in this one there's really just another oil that I use because I don't have as many steps in my morning skincare. I always use the hyaluronic acid and I mix it with an oil. The oil that I've been, uh, two oils, my vitamin C oil from Beauty Counter, which is in the mini one I forgot to bring up, or this from the Youth to the People. It's the Mackey and Acai Prickly Pear and Goji Oil. Um, so you can see I bought this back in August and that's about how much I've used. I take about five drops in the palm of my hand. I put one pump of my hyaluronic acid serum, mix it up and really press into my skin, my neck and my chest. It is a necessity for me to use an oil. I love to use an oil every day. It's not a necessity in the morning for me to use one, but it is a necessity for me to use one when I am peeling. I need that extra bout of moisture, especially if I'm going to go in with makeup. So let's talk about the makeup. There's not too many steps in makeup, but I will say there's a couple of techniques that I do right before I put makeup on that help with the peeling temporarily, I want to say. And that is using different products for different places in my face. Now, I mentioned that I do tend to peel underneath my eyes. That is like such a nightmare when you're trying to apply concealer. And if I could get away now, and I'm not saying I can't get away. Okay. I can get away with not wearing makeup when I'm peeling. I don't have to wear makeup every day. Please do not get me wrong. But if I am working a job, I do like to have makeup on. I know there are artists out there who never wear makeup when they work. That is not me. So even if I'm doing minimal makeup, I want to make sure that the peeling is at a very minimum underneath that makeup. So I need to kind of wipe it off, slough it off however I can, if there is still some there. If that's the case, I will use some kind of moisturizer. I don't use primers on the days that I'm peeling. I don't want to use too many products on my face where I'm having to rub my entire face. So I just skip the primers and I will use some kind of moisturizer or eye cream underneath my eyes right before I sit down to do my makeup. I've been using the Beauty Counter Instant Glow Illuminating Cream, and what I will do is I'll take a tiny little dot of the cream. I will take a Q-tip. My favorite are these really skinny ones from Sephora that they don't carry anymore because that is my luck, but you can find skinny ones like this anywhere. I will pick up the product on the Q-tip, pretty much all of the product, and I will really work at the areas that are peeling so that while I am taking the skin away from my face, I am also putting on moisture. To me, that is essential because I can rub at my face all day long to get the peeling off, but if I don't apply moisture back onto my face, it's not gonna do me any good. It's gonna make my face look really red, really raw, and really dry and cakey. So this is what I like to do under my eyes when they're peeling. When I am peeling on my face, I like to take a little bit of this moisturizer on my hand, along with a wipe. I do not like facial wipes. The only makeup wipes that I like are the beauty counter ones because I know there's nothing nasty in them 
and because they are um, you're able to put them in your compost and while I don't compost I feel better about them being in landfills so that's really the only reason that I wipes it all because I know I can get quality ones from there and I don't use them every night but this is one of the ways that I will and I will dip a wipe into the moisturizer and I will physically exfoliate my face with that there are there is a side of the wipes that has a little bit of bump like bumpiness to them so that's the side that I like to use because it exfoliates as well and again you're applying moisture back into the skin as you're taking the skin off so that's what I will do before I apply foundation I only have two more things I'm going to talk about and that's the actual foundation that I use I have two favorite foundations that I find work the best over peeling skin I mix them today for my face, even though I'm not peeling, so you can see what they look like on the skin. And it is a broken record Josie Marin Vibrancy Foundation. This is an oil-based foundation, so it is going to be highly moisturizing, and that is what I need when my skin is peeling or flaky. So I love this. I feel like it really sits well on top of the skin. It moisturizes enough. It doesn't emphasize the flakes. So if I have any flakes left over after all this stuff that I've done pre-makeup, it's not going to emphasize it. I love that. The other one that does not emphasize it as at all, and I believe helps heal it as well, is the Oxygenetics Oxygenating Foundation. So what I did today was I added about half a pump of each and mixed it together, and that's what I have on my face today. These two will do you no wrong if you have dry, flaky, peeling skin, I promise you. They are the best ones I have ever used on my skin when it peels like it does. So I highly recommend those two either together or by themselves, but they are the ones that have worked the best for me. Real quick, another thing I want to talk about is throughout the day maintenance on your skin. And that comes in the form of mists for me. I have three favorite mists that I use. I will carry each of them in my purse all together or separately. I will put, spray them on before I put my foundation on. I will spray them on right after I put my foundation on, right after I powder, and all throughout the day. And right after I spray, I will lightly press into the areas that have the most peeling, and I find that it really settles those areas down. My favorite three mists are the Jane Iredell Paw Mist Hydration Spray. I've talked about this a lot. I love it. The Color Science Hydrating Setting Mist, but I use this all throughout the day. And the Beauty Counter number three, Balancing Charcoal Mist, which I need to, I actually did already reorder this because I'm almost out. All three of those are ones that I love to spray on my face all throughout the day. And like I said, press in and it really just kind of dials down the peeling, settles it down a little bit until you can really go at it at night at your skincare, skincare routine. So I know that is a long-winded video, but I find it very important to try to learn for yourself the best products and techniques that will work for you so that you can continue to use skincare that's effective like the retinol but still be able to live your life and not have to worry about looking like you're you're losing your scales because that's what i look like when i'm peeling <laughs> so hopefully you got some kind of information from this video some new products to try or some new techniques to try out if you are indeed someone else who suffers from peeling flaky skin, either because of the weather or because of retinol or Retin-A products. So as always, thank y'all so much for watching. Be sure and like and subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on any future videos. And as always, I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day.